looking for the gods and questioning for God. Now, there's one man who's got something for you, as well as winning more souls to Christ. His name is Uche. Uche, I need you to help me with the surname. It's Uche Mwachiku. You see why I couldn't say it? <laughs> I need to learn it. I get it. I get Uche Mwachiku. Mwachiku. Did yes, I get sir. it right? Almost. Uh, almost I'm yeah. almost there. The accent, Clearly yeah. Nigerian, right? <laughs> yes. It anyway, is. welcome to Ghana. Well, how are you doing, my brother? Very well. Very First well. off, wait, are you based in Ghana? What brings you to Ghana? Oh, so I schooled here. I schooled you schooled here. here? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then like, I had to stay for a bit. Mm. Cause I knew then you're officially it. Ghanaian. Yeah, I'd like to see how you <laughs> we, we, we've, we, we've, we will change your citizenship and, uh, and keep you here as well. It's I good to know that you are. So what's up with you? What's, uh, tell me, um, what, what's, uh, what's recent? What's happening with you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's, it's been a lot coming. Yeah. I've been in and out in Ghana, Nigeria. Yeah. yeah what's, what's been keeping you on that travel? Ministry to a large yeah. extent. Yeah. Min ministry. And... Um, yeah, I have a very strong drive mm -hmm. for young people, mm -hmm. as it were. So, um, and one of the things we do is to install values to that's teach them. Ask, yeah. Music is a platform for mm -hmm. how we do that. Mm -hmm. All right, so basically that's what we do. So tell me some of the, 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 the projects you've been engaged in before we talk about what's coming. Just roll us back to have a quick understanding and a, and a history of yourself in terms of things that you've been engaged in, projects about winning souls for Christ. Okay. Um, um, in Nigeria, for example, yeah. we have this um, exam called JAMP. JAM. Yes, it's an exam you write before you okay. get into school. A lot of youths, okay. young people oh, get yeah. that. And then because of that, there's a lot of um, concerns about whether people come into, would get into school okay. and, and that. So um, what we do, some of the things we do is to get into these tutorial centers. Okay. Yeah, because of the high demand for people getting into school, mm -hmm. tutorial centers we set up for students to come in. Now we realize that um, the, bridge, the, the bridge between secondary school education mm -hmm. and the university mm -hmm. all right, is usually that tutorial center. Mm -hmm. Whatever those students do in the tutorial center is gonna affect, affect. what they become when they get to university. So Truth. we have projects that um, allow us to go into the tutorial oh. centers mm -hmm. and teach the gospel to them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. How has been the reaction on, on, on some of these projects? Amazing, you know? amazing. A lot of them are still mm -hmm. enrolled in our mentorship system still now. Mm -hmm. When I leave Nigeria, I mean, we still have a couple of facilitators that handle mm -hmm. that. So people that are not able to get into school mm -hmm. still come around to stay for the mentorship system mm -hmm. while they're grooming up in their values. We'll be coming to the yeah, event yeah. as well. Real quickly, now, we, we do understand the impact of certain Western cultures and its heavy impact and influence on, on Africa. And we see a new generation growing up and there's a, that, you know, there's a perception of loss of focus. You know, when you, when you encounter th things like this and people like this, you know, and uh, you look at how we are sometimes swayed away from doing what's right because you take platforms like maybe you, you, you jump on TikTok, you see the number of things people are mm. doing there, you mm. go on Snapchat, you see what people are doing there. What does that tell you? And does it make your work even more difficult or does it scare you as to where you're walking into? Okay, no, I think it, it actually um, braces up um, us up for more responsibility. Mm -hmm. I think what it tells us is there's a lot more work to be done. Does it make it difficult for you in your in your work? No, it doesn't. Does it, do you Actually, find difficulty in pulling people, you know, to 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 understand what God means to us? Uh, no, I think the concern over time mm -hmm. is the concept of God mm -hmm. and the concept of what we call religion has mm -hmm. been misunderstood, especially Christianity, has been misunderstood. So, what we actually do is to spend time to reevaluate the concept of the gospel Great. and make Great. people understand that yeah. it's really not about who you are or what it is that you do. Mm -hmm. right, it's first about having a right relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's what we do. Our values are a product of that relationship. What pulled you into the space personally? Uh, okay, I discovered God from a, a very young age. Yeah. I started preaching since I was three years wow. old. Yeah, so music was by the side, happened later mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what I when I realized the impact of this relationship with God on my life, I thought to bring people into that space too. Wow, that's, this, is, this is beautiful. Now let's talk about what this event you have coming up. Oh, wow. The name again, I've been trying to pronounce it. <laughs> it's Koinonia. Koinonia. Yes, sir. What, what does it mean? It's fellowship, partnership, it's intimacy. Is it, is it in, a, in, a, in a language? It's a Greek language. It's Greek. the Greek rendition for fellowship, actually. Okay. 
Yeah, when we say things like um, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. the grace of the Lord Jesus, be with us here, the word fellowship there is koinonia. Mm. It's more like uh, a sexual intimacy mm -hmm. between people. It's just, it's an expression of our relationship mm -hmm. with God in Greek. When is it happening? Where is it happening? How is it going to happen? What's going to happen there? I want all the answers. Okay, it's, it's a music concert. Okay. All right. um, um, it's been held for over five years oh, okay. now in mm -hmm. Ghana. All right, so this is our fifth anniversary as oh, wow. you were. Wow, congratulations. So, thank you so much. Thank you. So it's happening at Adenta on the 31st mm -hmm. of um, October. Mm -hmm. And the, the concept behind it, it has a sub theme this year mm -hmm. called um, Medor. Mm -hmm. I think Medor is I love you. Yeah, you're, you're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing well. Because I heard yeah. there's Medo and Mido. Okay, Mido, I love you. Okay, Mido yeah. is I love you. Yeah, Mido. Okay, so it's yeah. Mido. All right, we, 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 we realized that when people come around for concerts or what we call a musical atmosphere, there's a lot of um, statements about maybe God's love for us. Mm -hmm. But then one of the things we intend to do differently is to teach the young people that gather, or whoever that gathers, mm -hmm. all right, that um, aside God, God's love for us, mm -hmm. we can actually, in worship, get to emphasize our love for him in response. Yeah. Yeah, so it's supposed to be a two-part con concert mm -hmm. where one of them, um, we start with how much God has loved us, mm -hmm. and then the second part explains our response to that love. Wow. So yeah, it's, 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 it's actually the first of its kind. It's wow. real beautiful. It's going to be a conversation yeah. of our love experience with God. Time? As you were, um, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Uh, exactly, exactly. Uh, just so people will know exactly where it is happening, because I know my fellow, I know my friends. They'll be bugging me on <laughs> online. JP, can you help us again? What did he say? Where is it happening again? Okay, um, it's Praise Community Church. Mm -hmm. At Denta. Okay. The Praise Community Church. Yeah, definitely. Yes, uh, all right. Fantastic. This would be great. Um, uh, we're looking forward to a good event. Thank uh, you. Kwesi Oteng would be on the bill that I was going to mention. Oh, that. oh, oh. Yes, Kwesi Oteng. Yeah. Great, great, great. guy. Yeah. And then um, um, Carl Clotty. Okay. He did the song, um, um, Deo Deo. Yeah. Okay. My one and only as well. Quite a rise, fast yeah. rising um, mm -hmm. musical act. Great guy. The other two Ghanaian ministers that will be around. Wow. Anyway, I bet it's going to be very exciting. Really uh, exciting. 31st, you 31st, mentioned. 31st, yeah, 31st yes, October, 4 p.m. at the Praise Community Church, Community Church in Adenta. Well, looking forward to being there as well. Anyway, my brother, thank you so very much. Thank you so much. Yeah, we really appreciate it. And uh, all the best in this uh, engagement. Thank yeah. you so much. All right. All right. So I've been talking to Uche now. Of course, we've got all the details on the event as well. Um, we're taking a